number one podcast from house to top. Mind your damn business. Mexic La Familia and Philly Dark Horse. Yeah, this is Mind Your Damn Business Podcast, and we got the one and only, the Lady of Rage. You heard me. I said the Lady of Rage. The Lady of Rage, please tell us about this event. You had the Charlie Mac 50th mixtape. Yeah, yes. tell us about the mixtape that you're a part of. Man, look, I got the call and saw the list of people, and I was like, what? I'm a fan of all of these people. I mean, it went back to the beginning to the middle, to the 90s, which is the golden era. I call it the golden era. Right. I mean, it's just going on and on. And I was just out there, speakers blasting in my ear, yeah, yeah, yeah. in the crowd, wow. like, oh, oh shit, yeah. oh, Buckshot, oh my gosh, Lord is in the underground, yo, yo, oh my gosh, Tracy Lee. I mean, I was a fan. So Man. it is very, um, it is an honor to be a part of something as historic as this is. Wow, wow, that's heavy. And I, I just want to let you know, I'm a big fan of yours. I followed you back from the Death Row days, mm -hmm. the movies, Fridays and everything. So I just want you to um, speak to your fans, all the fans out there that followed you for so many years and supported you. Just speak to them right okay, now. I will say this you. to people that admire me and yeah. are fans. I try not to say fans. I try to say admirers of mine. I appreciate you all sticking with me, you all checking for me, you all making it possible for me to come out to these shows and still perform because that means you all want to see me. If somebody's booking me, that means somebody wants to see me and that means you all are checking for me. So I would like to thank each and every one of y'all who keep me alive and keep me afloat. Alright, well let me ask you something about this hip-hop thing. What do you think about the state of hip-hop where it is today, negative and positive? I see that they're about their business. Like when we were coming up, we I think we were more trusting. We, if somebody said, oh, you don't need a lawyer, just sign right here. Or we're family, you don't need to do this. We were more willing to just believe that. Right. I think the hip hop artists of today are more about their business. They are grinding a lot. Um, I won't say a lot harder, but they have the resources to, um, and when I say resources, I mean social media, um, all of these platforms to be heard. Back in the day, you had to have a record deal basically or do shows to be heard. So they have TikTok, Facebook, uh, Instagram, all these platforms platforms to be heard so I think that's the positive now you have many more avenues to be heard than we did back in the day okay now just touch on some of the negative aspects about hip-hop where is that today that you don't particularly care for I wouldn't say that um, it's hip-hop necessarily I would say it's the machine behind hip-hop when you have people who are speaking I call it junk food and soul food, quality food. I think it's too much junk food going on right now. Right. And when you eat too much junk food, you're gonna you're not getting any nutritional value. So I don't know the value of what is being put out right now. Um, I'm not knocking people that do what they do, but I'm knocking the machine behind them because I think they put them in a position, we want you to talk about this. We want you to talk about your ass. We want you to talk about your private parts. We want you to talk about killing and murder. We want you to, matter of fact, with this music, here's th these drugs that go along with this music. So it's, it's like a, a big uh, witch's brew mm. that's been stirred up. And I think it's the machine behind, it's a, it's a conveyor belt. If you don't want to do it, we got somebody that, that's next in line and we'll just pop them out like that. Boom, 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 boom. So I think it's oversaturated right now with junk food. That's crazy because some of the same points that you was uh, making, a lot of other artists was talking about that. Mm -hmm. So I just want to ask you this question. If you was in a room full of the youngsters right now that's in the game, all the relevant artists, what would you be able to say to them face to face, being as though you've been in this game for so long and you're a legend in this game, what would you say to them face to face? I don't know what I would say to, to them because I don't know if they would want to hear what I have to say because sometimes people are driven by money and if they're making money and they feel like I don't care what you say and I don't care what you did and I don't care what you think this is what I'm doing and this is what and this is what it is so if somebody wanted to hear what I had to say then I would say you know maybe balance it out a little bit maybe 
put some vegetables in the meal. Maybe get some carbs over here. Maybe get some protein. Make it a well-balanced meal. You could talk about this. Sure, we're grown. We, you know, we we know about sex and all of this stuff. But talk about something else. Talk about something that you think will touch a young lady who may have been suicidal if you were suicidal once upon a time or something personal that you can put out there that somebody else might be able to learn from and grow from wow that's crazy you, you spoke on some heavy points that affected me personally but um i just want to say i appreciate you and i appreciate your time for stopping by you're great and i love your aura about you it's very positive and i just want to say um that you're a queen and we respect everything wow. that you've done in the business Thank and you. keep being great now let me just ask you one more thing before we let you go are you working on anything right now tentatively that you can give us some drops on not music but um every week i i host a i co-host with chairman fred hampton jr of the, of the black panther party cubs we do a um, blog talk radio called freedom all radio um i also did this is my first lead um the, the movie is called Call Me Now, The Rise and Fall of Miss Cleo. And those of a particular age may remember Miss Cleo. Um, Call me now for your free reading. Yes, I yes, play yes, her. Yes, yes. So wow. um, it's directed by Tim Reed, and it should be out um, the end of August or the beginning of September. And this is my first lead. Shane Johnson, who played Cooper Sacks on Power, he's playing along with it. Ian Bowman, he plays on Yellowstone. He's in it as well. Tawana Braxton. Um, some other people that I can't think of right now, but that's that's what's going on. I'm about to go. I just got off the road with Cat Williams. I was on tour with him, and I'm about to go on the road with Snoop in July. Wow, that's heavy, man. We don't want to take up too much more of your time. <laughs>